everyone. Yesterday we talked about different 2D shapes. Um, 2D shapes are shapes that only have two different ways that we can um, measure them or talk about them. Um, height and their length. Length and height. We don't have, we don't have anything else here because it's um, that, that flat. Um, a 3D shape on the other hand is something that is not flat. Um, one of the videos that you're going to watch today, the guy says he has, um, I think he calls it a clap test. If you can put it in your hand and clap, then it's flat. If you put it in your hand and you can't flat, um, you can't clap, then it is not, um, a 2D shape. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go on a shape hunt in our house. We're going to find all kinds of, of shapes and we're going to bring them to wherever we are working, okay? So I found one already. I found a little ball I have that uh, um, I also found a little a little toy block. There. Um, I found a whiteboard marker. And of course, I have some flat ones too. I have a triangle. I have a circle, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to um, get two pieces of paper on one of them. We're going to write fat and that's where these ones are going to go. Um, and on the other sheet of paper, we're going to write flat. Okay. Now we're going to go and get all the shapes we can, all the things we can find, find 10, find 20. The more you find, the better. Um, and we are going to put them either on the flat one or we are going to put them onto the fat one. Okay. The whiteboard marker would go on the fat one because we can't clap it when it's in our hand. But this circle here, this can go onto the flat one. Okay? So, fat and flat, and then we're gonna go get, I don't know, 15, 15 different objects, 20 different objects in your house, and we're gonna put them either on the fat or the flat. Okay? All right, off you go. I'm gonna go get some myself. Now I have in front of me all of whoa, all of the different things that I found in my house. Um, I have um, there's the fat. There's that can that just rolled away. And over here, I have the flat. I don't know if you can see that. I'm having trouble filming this uh, this portion of the of the show. <laughs> All right. So on the, um, fat, I have a ball. I have an eraser. I have a can from the kitchen from the, I have, um, a little something that my kids made for, um, playing a game. This was for ice cream, an ice cream cone, um, a marker, a little, um, cube, um, another wooden cube. Oh, I have a pencil here, and the pencil is in the shape of a triangle. I don't know if you can see that. Where's the camera on this? In the shape of a triangle. Oh, um, uh, Nisa has a little toy, and she made a pyramid with that. Oop, oop, it's falling apart. Um, a, a box from toothpaste. An orange. And um, from toilet paper. A toilet paper roll. Now, over here, on the other side, on the flat, I have a CD or a DVD. I don't know what it is for, but I have no way to play it. <laughs> I have no machine that can do that. Um, oh, I have, um, these are my nephews, uh, my sister's kids. I have a postcard, I think how flat that is, from my sister in Colorado. Um, I have a little something with a bird on it. This is one of those uh, coasters you put your drink on so it doesn't uh, um, make marks on your table. Very beautiful. I love birds. Um, flat. Mm-hmm. Um, I also have a tile um, from a bathroom. Um, there was a question about my daughters asked me, is that really flat? Because, um, you know, it's like that big. I mean, I said, I said, well, I can still clap, but it is a little thick. So there's a question. Is that one flat or is it fat? Put that one in the middle. And then, of course, I have all of my shapes that I made yesterday. Oh, and you probably have some shapes from yesterday, too. Um, and they are in the flat side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to further. We're going to put ones that um, go together together. First thing we need to do is get rid of our flat. Because this um, part of the, um, of the lesson is um, about 3D shapes. And that means we're going to talk about these ones right here. 
Okay, so now if we can put ones together um, round, um, we call a 3D shape that is round a sphere. Sphere. It's a weird one. SF to start. Sphere. Sphere. All right. Um, I have another sphere. I have two spheres, so I'm going to put them together. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort them based on what kind of shape um, they are. Put my spheres over there. I don't know if that ball wants to stay. I'm going to put it behind there. Um, this one is a cylinder. A cylinder. It's round here, um, but the straights, are, the sides are straight, but they're all round. I have two. Oh wait a minute! I have more than that. This is also a cylinder. So I have a cylinder here. I'll put that there, and another cylinder here. You know what? I just thought of. I do have another cylinder here. I have a marker that is round on the top, flat on the top, round on. Oh, that was the bottom. The top. The sides are um, are round. They go straight. All right, so now we got uh, um, two spheres, three cylinders, and while I'm looking at this one, we said this one was for the ice cream cone. This is what it's called, a cone, a cone. So cones um, have a circle at the base, and then they go up to a point. If you look at it this way, they are round, okay? So that's a cone. So we have sphere, these are all 3D shapes. So sphere, cylinder, cone, now we go with these, these two right here. I called them a cube before, because that's what they are. They're made out of wood. Now a cube is a square. And remember a square has four corners um, and its sides are all the same length. Okay, so a cube has more corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight corners. It has six sides. Think about a dice, it has six. It has six sides, it has eight corners, um, and how many edges? That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve edges. Okay, so a cube, um, all the sides are the same size. Okay, all the edges are the same length. All the corners are also the same, they're right angles. Okay, but now I have two other things here. Hmm, because this is made from rectangles. So this one would be called either a rectangular prism or a cuboid. Um, there are two different things we could call that one. So these ones, this group is the cubes. Okay, they are um, same size. Cuboids or rectangular prisms are um, the sides are different because it's based on a rectangle. And we know a rectangle has two sides that are small and two sides that are long. All right, and then each side has the same thing. Two sides that are small, two sides that are long. And the ends, the same. Uh, this is almost square at the end. Um, but it could be square. Um, it could be the same size um, um, edges here. But it's still, because of this, it's very, very long, it would still be a cuboid. Okay, um, I have another cuboid here, um, an eraser. I right, see it's, it's actually a, a perfect square here. It's same size, but if we look this way, oh, it's not um, the same size as this is a rectangle on this side. Two short ends, two uh, longer ends. Okay, so we have another cuboid. Um, and we have another one. This one I was not able to find in my house, so we actually made one. Um, this is a pyramid. So a pyramid is made up of triangles. Now, um, this pyramid is actually a square on the bottom. Um, but a pyramid, can, can a pyramid be a um, triangle? What's that? Square base pyramid. It could be a triangle on the bottom too. This one is, is a square. Um, I wonder if we could make a little magic. Oh, guess what I have? I have a pyramid that has a triangle on the base. Okay, so it could be either way. Um, and still be a pyramid. And then this one, um, we were like, ah, is it flat, is it not? Well, if we're saying it's fat, then it would go over here in the cuboid section um, because um, it has a rectangle here, a rectangle here. Mm, I think that's a rectangle too. It's not the, all the same size, uh, but here we have 
a short edge, a short edge, a long edge, a long edge. And the same thing if we go to all the sides, even this one. Okay, so it's not a cube. A cube has all the same sizes. Okay, where, where would I put the cuboid? With that one right there. All right, so we have spheres. We have cylinders. We have a cone. This one might be hard to find in your house. We, we luckily had uh, a little one from a game the kids were playing. Um, we have cuboids. Uh, different shapes here, but they're all square-ish. We have um, a pyramid. Okay, so your job um, is to go and get items. First, we're going to separate them by fat or flat, and then um, you're going to separate them by sphere, which I put on the floor because it was a rolling way. Sphere, cylinder, cone, cuboid, pyramid, and what's the last one? Cube. Okay, it's on the learning grid. I'm a picture of each one so you can see um, what exactly they look like if you don't remember. Okay, all right, off you go. Have fun. I will talk to you later. Bye bye.